Hello guys, not to Ace here, and basically this is my experience of, believe it or not, acquiring the SNES Classic Mini, or the SNES Mini. So, I did say this before that I managed to pre-order it at Best Buy, and, you know, I know some probably not going to like what I'm going to say, but, you know, I feel for you, but, you know, sort of a competition, I was just there in the right time, managed to do it, so... Sorry. Uh, excuse me. So, with that said, yes. Like I said before, I managed to pre-order it at Best Buy. Managed to get it. Boy, there were a lot of people in line just trying to get this. And some of these people were standing in line. They're kind of like giving me the evil look. Sort of. Because, well, you know, uh, kind of, well, they're not too happy. Because how come you're able to pre-order but they can't, you know. But like I said, if you go to the right time in the right place, hey, it is what it is. So, managed to get one, yay. So, with that said, I'm also curious of how many people, how many stocks each place that you went to or my local, local area. So, basically, if you heard the stories, uh, Best Buy does a ticket system. So, does um, GameStop and even Target. So, everybody's doing a ticket system. I heard Walmart, since most of them are 24-7. So, they basically were sold out within midnight. And again, you know... Like Jose Otero said, if you want read something really that bad, you go for it, you remove emotion, you do whatever it takes. Waste your time standing in line for five or six hours. If you really want to get it at a go, you know, be my guest. Like for me personally, if I can't get in the store just going in or I can't go online and pre-order and store pickup, that's just me. Do I really need it? No. Do I want one? Sure. So, yeah, uh, excuse me once again. <coughs> Uh, so with that said, basically, so what I did, I started, I, le I started, well, I left, like, before, like, Best Buy opening, because, like I said, I'm not going to stand in line. I heard stories, like, at Walmart, people already standing in line, like, 5 p.m. before midnight. In some area, local Target, GameStop, heck, Best Buy, people already standing in line, like, 2 in the morning. They're just standing there. Like, no sleep, they're standing there, they're trying to feel awake. Crazy, a lot of people, were, a lot of employees told me that they were standing like that crazy. So if you're one of those mofo, hey, be my guest, you're awesome. There you go. So my local Target I went to, apparently they had 83. In my local area, we're not really that big, the city. But it gets, it gets some stuff, so it is what it is. So with that said, they had 83, but according to a Target employee, he was nice enough to give me some information. Before even they open at 8, like, from what I heard, 7 in the morning, the employees have to go in because, you know, before you open, you have to go in before they open, you have to prepare yourself, blah, 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 common business, you know that. Yeah, there were more than 83 people in line. They were standing in line, they were long, so that was crazy. Best, my local business, my friend, had 180, between 180 to 200 units. That's what I heard. I couldn't really get enough information, a lot of best employee were giving mixed numbers whatever like I said I pre-ordered mine didn't really didn't really concern myself I know sorry but from what I heard they said they had 180 to 200 and yeah they were gone people were standing in line people were there heck five in the morning the earliest one from what I heard was again same deal two in the morning two in the morning they were there standing in line they do whatever it takes to get this SNES mini and then, sadly enough, I have multiple games in my local area, but each one of them only got between 10 to 15 units. I try to get in line just going in. Maybe I can get one, you know. I know, being a jerk about it, apology. But don't worry, I didn't even get one because the one I went to, they only had 14, and I was 21 in line. So, karma, there you go. So, ha, ha, ha. So, yeah, I mean, it depends where it is. Like, my Target, you had a lot. Walmart. From what I heard, they had a lot, but didn't really bother. Uh, GameStop, since there's a lot of GameStop, and like I said, there's four in my area, so again, between 10 to 15 units. And then, of course, if you heard during midnight, believe it or not, GameStop Online and Think Gig had some, and yeah, I didn't really get it because the problem is every time you're trying to order this thing, it's like within minutes, oh, they're gone. Do, 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 do. I don't know what I just did there. So, there you go. That's like the number that I got. All right, from there, the question now is, 
Oh my gosh, now I feel like it's the S, the mini NES classic, you know, I couldn't, not so much. The numbers they gave you were more than the NES. So with the NES was, people were getting between under, let's just say under 10, under 10. If mom and pop store, we're able to only get one, two if you're lucky. GameStops at the time only had four to five. Target had nine. Best Buy, same thing, it was nine. The numbers there were below 10. And again, the reason with the NES Mini of last year, 2016, is they didn't know that this plug and play was going to sell out. Well, yeah, your name is there. It's a Nintendo quality plug and play. It's not by third party with the Atari, with the Genesis, television, ColecoVision. It's made by Nintendo. It's been approved by Nintendo. So, yeah, it is going to sell. No, the, there. Of course, it's going to sell. So, they did rectify it. However, it looks like still, the demand still going more than the supply. So, what's the good news here? If you didn't get one for the first time, for the first release, don't worry. Nintendo had said this multiple, they said it multiple times. Reggie basically even said, one, don't buy the SNES Classic from a scalper. Don't buy it more than $8. He's already saying that that's his tip because he's basically saying, look, we're going to provide you more. Heck, even if you buy a second one, we're going to meet those demands because not a lot of people are going to have two or three. If you do, if you're going to try to sell them, but a lot of people have them, you're wasting your money. Jack of Jack is probably going to waste his time and money if there's a lot of people already buying them for $80. So again, got to be patient. Nintendo said there will be a steady flow weekly, hopefully weekly or bi-weekly, which is two weeks there. So maybe by mid-October, so on to November, to December. And remember, they have said this is going to go beyond 2017. Because the original plan was, uh, we're going to end production in 2017. Again, they don't want to make a lot because they really want to focus on the Switch. However, due to the fact is, um, the thing now is, even though a lot of people still want Switches, it kind of started to slow down that in my local area, believe it or not, some of the retailers were telling me, yeah, we got switches, and nobody's, like, you know, getting by them. Well, $300, come on. You, 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 you don't need two or three. You just need one. You probably need a dock for party-wise, different story. But, yeah, because here's the funny thing. When I, while I was at Target asking people the information about the SNES Classic, guess what? There were a whole mess of stock. Oh, switches at Target. Uh, my GameStop, multiple GameStop that I went to, guess what? They got switches on stock. And the one I always go to, they had a stock of switches for over two weeks already. Yeah, like I said, it's not a popular city, but it does the job done. Guess what? Same deal. So, yeah, the switch is going to be there, but apparently it is starting to slow down. That It's still not easy to get one, but if you're lucky... You might get one. I mean, heck, you saw in my main channel a, a comedy video about, look, there's switches on Target, but of course, the next day they were gone. But the bottom line is, if you go there in the right time, you might get lucky. Again, there you go. So like, that, like I said, for the SNES Mini, don't worry. According to Nintendo, there will be a steady flow. They'll keep pumping this. They'll be pumping them in 2018. If you have the patience and you don't need to play it, I gotta play it as soon as possible or I'm gonna go nuts. There you go. Don't worry about it. I have talked to multiple employees, uh, the one GameStop. I'm a, I'm a good um, acquaintance of this guy who always hooks me up. He has said it multiple times. Don't worry. They're getting a report. Hey, we're gonna get more next week, maybe from two weeks, but there will be a steady flow to a point that don't worry about it. So that's the same. Yeah, so have Nintendo learned a lesson? Maybe it looks like they are learning the lesson because there's more than 10 in each place. So there you go. I mean, heck, like I said, Target, my local Target had 83. My local Best Buy had between 180 to 200. Didn't really get the exact number. My local GameStop, it depends which I go to, had between 10 to 15. Just It depends. So again, just be patient about it. Hopefully Nintendo is rectifying it by having a steady flow. Second, 
able to do a pre, not really pre-order, but order it with no problem. Let the pre, like the order open windows more than 30 minutes because my goodness, as of right now, it's like one minute, then they're closed. Like, oh, shoot, man. Yeah, uh, like I said, just be patient about it. And that even so, if you're buying like more than one, well, I mean, not simultaneously, but for different places, Nintendo is fixing the solution by pumping them out more. So, yeah, there you go. So, yeah, that's uh, my experience about it. Getting a lot, I hope this information kind of help. If you're still looking for an SNES Mini, again, my final, my only final tip is be patient. They will have a steady flow. Nintendo already state this. I hope they're not lying, but if they do are lying, they're kind of jerk for doing it. So, with that, thanks for listening.